Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this video I will show you how to render 360 videos in Blender. As always, it will be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we have a uh, basic scene in Blender, and uh, now I'm going to show you how you can turn this uh, scene into a uh, 360 degree render. So um, let's start off by selecting the uh, camera. And if you have multiple cameras, you need to do this to uh, all of the uh, different cameras. So uh, set the type to uh, panoramic and then the uh, panorama type to equi rectangular. Okay, and then we can go into the output settings. And we need to set the uh, resolution to uh, the recommended resolution, at least uh, for YouTube. And you can find that in the link in the description. So I'm just going to uh, copy the last one, and then the first one is uh, 7168. And then uh, on the y-axis, it's 3584. Okay, and then uh, I'll set the frame rate to uh, 30 FPS. And then next, we need to select a folder for the final animation. So, uh, I'll create a new folder for this render, call it uh, 360, you can call it wherever you want, you can also call the render whatever you want, and then enter to save. Now for this animation, I'm just going to use one frame, but you can obviously add more frames if you want to. And uh, then I'll go to render, and then render animation. And a few minutes later, it's uh, done. And then we can go into the uh, folder, which is... Uh, here, as you can see, we have the uh, render, and then we need to go back into Blender, File, New, and go into Video Editing, and I'm going to Add, Image, and then select the folder, and then add the images. In my case, I only have uh, one, and then I'm going to drag this one image until uh, frame 600. If you have multiple frames, this uh, step is obviously not needed. And then I'm going to set the end frame to 600. And then we can copy the uh, render size, set render size. As you can see, the uh, output is now uh, 7168 times 3584. And then we need to set the uh, file format to FFMPEG, and then MPEG4, and then I'll set the quality to uh, perceptually lossless, because uh, the compression for mp4 files in Blender is uh, quite heavy, so uh, it's uh, nice to have a good quality. And then you need to select a folder for the final animation, and then you can give it a name if you want to. And then we can render the uh, animation. And in this case, it is uh, only in the uh, same frame. And I speed it up this part. And then next, we need to uh, go into uh, the uh, YouTube help website, which I will provide a link to in the description. And then uh, click on upload 3D video. And then first you need to install Python 2. If you do not have it, go into downloads and download 2.7. And then download the uh, 360 video metadata tool. And then open the uh, download. And open the application. And then open the video inside the application. So uh, I'll go to the folder where the uh, video was uh, outputted. And then open the uh, video and then inject the uh, metadata and this will be uh, very quick so uh, select a uh, folder for the uh, injected uh, video and you're done so uh, next we need to upload it to YouTube so that you actually get the uh, 360 video working properly so uh, just upload it to YouTube and you don't have to tweak any settings and uh, that's it for this tutorial. 
Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.